Hey guys, friends, Zach here, and welcome back to what will probably be the final episode of the Battle for Middle Earth game series. Naturally, the final spot is, of course, on Minas Tirith, which is where the final battle will take place. Um, and yeah, that will end the campaign off there. I won't spend too long talking, but we get jump straight right into it, and then after that, I'll talk a bit about what the future will be for the Battle for Middle Earth games on this channel, and uh, my thoughts and my thoughts on the actual campaign itself. So, let's begin. Minas Tirith is the city upon which all the hopes of men rest. It is a dream that will end in devastation. Yep. Several small villages have yet to evacuate. The city gets food from these villages. The world of men is coming to an end. Make camp and increase our numbers. Get ready for fighting. Pay no. attention. Look for the enemy. No. Set that up. All right. Are you ready? So some legions over here. We can, we can probably spread to that outpost up there. I think it's an outpost. Right, this will be the final battle that will end the war. Stay alert. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Well, I'm looking forward to the end because that means we can do some more stuff. Uh, new stuff is always exciting to do. Uh, let's stick this one up. That's just an outpost and nothing overly special. We've got the Witch King with us. Don't come in much else, though, do they? Grab an orc pit, and we'll grab a Hiradrim palace. <gasps> Muma Kill aren't going to do a great job in this. So I think we get Muma Kill out spawning actually later on, anyway. So, it doesn't worry that much about it. Troll cage. We're, finished digging the orc pit. We're definitely need some siege works, that's a given here. Right, I'm trying to think if it's control one. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. I thought it was control one. I can make it control one. Okay, that's fine. I I, <laughs> I can actually now set up groups now. So I thought it was control one. I couldn't remember if it was or not. But that's gonna make a difference. Open the doors to the great siege works. Open the doors to the great siege yeah, works. Already said that, mate. <laughs> Yeah, one now is called to command each army, is the idea. Alright, head north. We've really got some trolls over there, so we'd send a troll down here. Oh, we've got loads of trolls. <laughs> yeah, don't tell the trolls that. <laughs> Right, now we need to build our armies. We'll take as many as we can. This is going to be one hell of a battle. I oh, guess. Grons, of course. <laughs> right. Um. There's some siege towers. We got ourselves some catapults. Ourselves a mountain troll. That's just we just spam T. That's quicker. That's a. We just go through the shortcuts. It's quicker that way. All right. Oh. Who ordered the siege tower? <laughs> Who ordered the siege tower? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I've placed an order. Please, I've placed one big tower. Thank you. <laughs> I'd love for one. Thank you. Oh, 
that cannon ball. Begin the great spam. Gandalf, where? Ah. Where is he? Bring him to me. <laughs> Where is this Gandalf that you speak of? Oh, Rohan army arrives in two minutes. Okay, alright, let's... Let's speed things up. Right. If I could, I might put these guys in group one. Yeah, I'll put the artillery in group one. We have only control one, and I move. There you go, nice. I can move that. Brilliant. Select this giant force. Can do control two. Yeah. Begin the attack. Crap. Coming out. Oh crap. Where are they going? Oh bollocks. <laughs> right, let's get her all over here quick. Crap is Owen. Got the air with a quick. Right, bring forth all legions. Right, quick, summon the Balrog. Bring you guys over here, quick. Destroy them all. There, Rohirrim have been crushed. Let's see if we can destroy that. Oh shit, the wall's down. Oh wow. <laughs> there, that was pretty cool. Okay, nice. Right. Let's grab that, see if we can build that quick. Wait, did they just destroy that? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Wait, we can just push in. Fuck it, in we go. I mean, we got way too much stuff, but let's do it. Begin the attack! Oh crap, Gandalf's it. <laughs> just killed our Nazgul. <laughs> 
Let's Gandalf bring him, bring me his head. Right, let's try and destroy their um their stuff. It's the artillery I want gone. Kill Gandalf, didn't quite see that. Crap. <laughs> Let's destroy that tower. Where is it? Oh, I don't know. Let's just try and get everyone in. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, destroy that if you can. Yeah, the troll's just going on at him. Destroy that. Destroy it all. Let's see if we can bring the Nazgul back. I think we can. Yeah. Yeah, the. <laughs> I thought the uh, these would be of some use, but they're not. <laughs> I mean, make use of them, let's go. Umbar uh, reinforcements, nice. Yeah, I was, I was surprised the Balrog took out that gate in one hit. I mean, it makes sense, right? <laughs> he is the Balrog, but I was surprised at that one. Alright, let's grab this legion. Let me create just build that. Let's head over here. Oh, there's an outpost over here. Let's grab some more troops over here. What are you waiting for? Moving. Listen up, Archers. Oh, I don't really want them. I'll take them. <laughs> Get busy. They're attacking on Get the arrows. Give them some arrows. Fill them full of holes. Well, I'll bring those guys down. Start building some more troops because we're running out of loads. Some of them are dying. Oh, bollocks. Oh, my fucking shit. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, fuck me. I thought for a second this uh, army of the dead was. I thought for a second. Hang on a minute, Umbar. Nah, I'm sure we got our reinforcements. Oh, thankfully they fucked off. <laughs> right, get Gimli. Oh, 
saw a peasant? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> oh crap, eagles! <laughs> Oh. Alright, this isn't going well. Let's pull back. Oh my god, I've still got loads of fucking holy crap. I don't need this many siege towers. Oh dear. I mean, can I get Grons off? I've oh, opened everything up, that's fine. Was <laughs> Aragorn quick after him? Let me get Olokai. No, I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't need any more catapults. We're good. So much friendly fire. Right, who's this? Oh, Legolas. So kill him. In the meantime, I can't get. I can't spawn the Balrog inside. That sucks. Yep, yeah, that killed Legolas. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I love we're just carrying Grond around. Destroy that. Get the Witch King being built. Yeah, just pull it all apart. Come on, let's get out of here. We're under we'll attack. For this. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the idea of orc smell is just very strange. <laughs> Yeah, the Rohirrim force has been utterly crushed. Excellent. Watch out! It's one of those Nazgûls. Yeah, just try and destroy that quick as you can. Destroy it all. They've already taken it down. Is there anything else to destroy? There's that battle tower. Kill that. Grond is just a distraction at this point. Oh, yeah, Crush the battle tower. Let's just push in. I'm already in. As the siege towers, like if they die, they die. Don't care. Alright. Alright, bring them down. 
Let's sell the enemy of the gondola, that's a quote. <laughs> Let's see our actual objectives. Destroy our heroes. We don't think we've. I knew there. So I'm pretty sure we have to destroy every single bit. Or do we destroy that? Maybe? No, I just think we just destroy everything, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the siege rams. That can be group two. This lot up here can be group one. Right, here we go. Group two can deal with these guys. that one. Destroy it all. Let's focus fire over here. Well, destroy that first. Just love that voice line. Keep building everything. More men. But yeah, this game is unless you're cheating, it's it's uh, very spammy. Well, spamming the fact that you have loads and loads of troops to your enemies. Yeah, but if we didn't have cheats on, I'm pretty certain that the well, it would be very very boring. Because we'd be constantly like, oh, don't have any more men. It's be a nightmare. I'm really annoyed I can't bring the Balrog inside. Unless... I have no idea. Destroy the wall. Wait. Destroy the wall. Oh, I hang in the bower again. Nice. Yes, yeah, so the bower can come in. Right, bring that down. I 
destroy that tower. That's the right thing. Excellent. Every time we destroy something, they just keep coming back. Right, I think we'd be better off going this side. We get. Is that the uh, barracks? Yeah, it is. So I'm pretty sure we have to destroy everything. I don't know if we can just take out Minas Tirith from here. I think we have to actually physically destroy every building. I'm pretty sure. Or every building that provides a bonus. Yeah, that's God will keep. We need to take that. We'll just get the uh, Nazgul to keep destroying the catapult and shit. Right, we need. Right, try and focus over here. We've got one there, we we'll deal that. All the witch can get shot. Oh, he's stuck in. <laughs> he's stuck. Where is he gone? Over here. Alright. Let's get more Nazgul. Yeah, Battle of Middle Earth 2 is a little better. But like I said, if I wasn't cheating, like this this would be a hell of a slog. I'd be probably so bored that I probably would have stopped playing. Yeah, get up there. Give them new archers, the Grand War eventually fall apart. <laughs> oh, what the fuck was that? What's that? Oh, it's Faramir. Shit. Deal with him, quick. I don't think the heroes come back when we kill them. I don't think. Stop that. You can't dismount in that school, sadly. Give 
Right. Keep on the attack. Getting the great spam. Right. Is that a stable? Destroy that. How do they keep getting more stuff respawning? Because we can't actually get off this bit. Can we? No. Destroy that. Destroy all. All right, bring it down. Bring down that fountain for a start. Yeah, so the way it looks like you have to destroy everything. Main only the um, buildings they can build. Right, destroy that. Well, the help if we can get the barrel going in, but. Can I get him in there? Yeah, I can. Pretty good. Oh, that place is screwed. Right, you can just rape everything. We're making some progress. Well, that was a citadel. Oh, so that should be the end of them done then. You guys can just focus up here. Yeah, they're screwed. <laughs> Bring it all down. We've overpelled them. Is there anything else left for us to take? 
What's that, Rufink? I may need to take out that. A defensive tower did it, and that is it. There will be no door. There you go. That took a while, actually, to break through their defenses. <laughs> the power rock is fucking everyone. Epic. <laughs> there you go. The nice gold current level ten. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. It was enjoyable. Some bits were a bit. Some bits were a bit of a slog, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. Can we get back into that campaign? Or is that like completely finished now? Alright, out of curiosity, just want to have a look. Middle Earth has fallen into darkness. Oh, okay. Its last so... <laughs> defenders have retreated to the White City. So, Sauron wields the ring up, power once more. When Minas Tirith falls, Sauron's conquest of Middle Earth shall be complete. So, like, if we wanted to carry on the campaign, we'd have to take every region first and then do the Battle of Minas Tirith. Oh, okay, that's kind of interesting. Huh? But obviously, that is it. <laughs> we don't need to, we're not doing that again. But yeah, that's the, that's the campaign. We've uh, started from a, from Isengard and Conquered all most of Rohan. You know, conquered his wife. That was fun. The land of fish. Didn't see many fish, though. Obviously, started off down as Mordor. Conquered of Rad and Emanan. When I took off Skidia, went to Kira Vungul. That was fun. Ker Andros. Bit of a slog, but fun. And obviously, we took Minas Tirith as well. Oh, and we took the. I took Ham and Hen as well. We can't forget that. And of course, the Fangorn. Uh, was there. No, it wasn't a mission in Moria, was there? No. Alright, but that is essentially it for this campaign. Uh, will I be doing anything Battle for the Earth related anytime soon? Probably not. I don't I don't have any plans to do anything right now. I can't want to do some other stuff. Um, I'm surprised that these guys over here don't come out and do some more stuff, but that's just probably to defend the area, I guess. But yeah, the entire map is this. I guess we can have a look at some other things while we're here. But yeah, I don't see myself doing anything Battle of Middle Earth related just yet. Um, I will come with these some other games, and then maybe I'll come back at some point. Uh, uh, let's have a look at multiplayer. Nope. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay then. Try not. Except, did it just do it automatically? No, no. Okay. Right, okay, okay. I can't show you might play a bit, but yeah. You know. So if you want to do skirmishes, this is what you can do. You can do player made maps, just like I think random people made by other people. Epic Helm's Deep. The trilogy, whatever that is, I'm not sure what it is. But these are the official maps, a lot of them. It tells you. Little, uh, layers you can go to as well. The only factions you can fight play as is, of course, Brohan, Gondor, Isengard, and Mordor. You can choose what color they're going to be. It's just quite a lot of selection of colors. Team, what team they would want to be. Uh, you can choose the difficulty of the army, close, uh, easy, medium, or hard. Uh, yeah.
I haven't done anything yet, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, if we come back to Battle Earth, it will probably be the, the, well, this game particularly will probably be the good campaign, of course. That's all that's left to do. Um, of course, I'm expecting that I will probably play the second game. Um, and then probably the Rise of the Witch King expansion. Those are the five main sort of campaigns, four that I've got left to do now, um, including the rest. But yeah, I've, I have enjoyed, even though I have found some parts of the game very frustrating. The fact that we've had to cheat to really get anywhere is sort of a bit of a, a bit of a sour patch on my end, really. But it, would you have wanted me to just give up or carry on? Then yeah, you know, I guess it's up to you, really. But but um. Oh, the Baron Wayne summons form base, so. Hmm. How do? But yeah, that's. But yeah, I, I'm a little bit sad that I had to cheat to really get through the game. I would have liked to just go it normally, but I feel as if we would have been such a slug, it just wouldn't be enjoyable. And. Yeah. Last little uh, clips that show the area. <laughs> But yeah, I don't see myself doing anything at the moment related to the Battle of Manila. I probably will later down the line, other RTS games, I'm sure. But um, I want to do some other games, and yeah, I want to do other games. Uh, yeah, as much as I love like Battle of Manila, it's fun. But sometimes I'd rather be playing some other games. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Gondor is actually Ted to test rather. But yeah, sometimes I'd love to like play the Battle of Manila series, but in maybe to start a war or something like that. Um, I always like get more of an enjoyment out of the Total War games than I do of an RTS game, I'm afraid. Um, but it's not to say I didn't have not enjoyed this. It's been a very fun, enjoyable campaign. Uh, everyone's quite enjoyed it. It's been the reviews have been pretty good on it. Um, comments and likes are always quite good. Good on this as well. Um, most people have enjoyed it, I think. Um, apart from the odd people that probably dislike the video because I cheated, but. But at the end of the day, what what else could I have done? <laughs> um, the difficulty was already on easy, I think. Was it easy or was it normal? I can't remember. I think it's a normal. Um, but yeah, I think if you had to do cheats again for the good campaign or the second game, I don't know. Depending on how it goes. If we were to do cheats, then I, what I will do is put the difficulty at hard. And then that way... And that way the cheats are more acceptable, I suppose. But yeah, um, there's something else for me to say. I'm going to record some other stuff now, probably speak at CK2. And yeah, this series will now be, it's now officially finished. Um, I don't know when you're watching the parts of this, but you'll see them all and eventually this will um, be uploaded and now wrap things up there. I think three episodes have been recorded today. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. But I'll find out in post-production anyway. But anyway. Uh, you all know how many videos there are of this mod, of this campaign, so you don't need, need me to tell you that. Um, but yeah. We'll just uh, watch them fight. But yeah, that's all for now. Um, actually, I'm just going to jump out of that because it's going to be way too loud. <laughs> I'll end it on my desktop. But anyway, that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have enjoyed this series and are looking forward to the future. If you have any games that are games or mods or anything that you'd like me to play in the future, or factions, uh, I don't know, factions of mods, I suppose, or characters you'd like me to play as in CK2, or games you'd like me to play in, I don't know, Assassin's Creed. I've got a lot. Um, I I'll give you a little preview of what games I have. But as you can see, I have majority... I could just go into Steam. That's easier. Um, I've also, if I go into games, that also shows me some of my other files I've got. I've got, there's a few other ones I've got elsewhere on my Xbox and Play X, PlayStation, all that stuff. There's a lot of, there's a lot more than what you see, but these are some. Um, so you've got Ben 10, you've got the Bloodstone, Jane Bond game, uh, Battle of 2, that's uh, the, some of the, I think, Lord of the Rings Conquest, which doesn't work, I don't think. Um, I think I, I, I've got that on my 360, though, so I can play it on that. I think the first of the ring game, which I remember don't working, because I basically got this from the old games download site, which is quite useful for getting some old games, and some I got from Steam Unlocked as well, which Steam Unlocked, well, every time I, I think the last time I used Steam Unlocked, it fucking stuck a virus in my PC, so that was, getting rid of that was enjoyable, not. Um, the Two Towers game, I, I can't remember, I don't think that worked, if I remember correctly, Return of the King, I think that worked, I remember that working. Uh, Lego Ninjago, yeah, I'm down to play some, I'll go with names, actually, that's better. Uh, Batman Arkham City, I've got the other Batman games as well. Um, this is another Ben 10 game. 
Cloudpunk, which is I'm not entirely sure what that is, but sure. Uh, Dark Souls, we got the Dark Souls game. I think Dark Souls Two I have on my PlayStation. I think I'm not all Xbox. I'm not sure. Death Stranding, that's interesting. Dragon Age, you've got the other couple games I'll show you in a second. Dragon Age, Far Cry New Dawn, as well as the other Far Cry games, or my Xbox. I have all of them. Um, yeah, apart from the the first one, I think the very old ones, I haven't got those. Game of Thrones Telltale, you may remember I recorded that and then cancel the series. Game of Thrones Telltale, unless a sequel comes out for that, I'm not all that bothered about playing it. Maybe I might do a CK2 Forester Let's Play, where we carry on from the events of whatever whatever my game was of the telltale just carry on in some way hitman 2 funny enough hitman 2 i have hitman 2 on the pc and i have hitman 1 on the xbox and hitman 3 on the playstation 5 which is hilarious <laughs> uh lego i've got a bunch of lego games lego the hobbit you've seen that um some lego games on pc i've got a bunch on the xbox and playstation as well notably skywalker saga uh, Lord of the Rings, War in the North, that's quite a game, that's a game I really want to play at some point, but yeah, haven't got around to it yet, but War in the North is a really interesting game, and I'd love to give it a go at some point. Got the Mafia Definitive Edition games, that'd be fun to play, Medieval Dynasty, that's like a, I'm not sure what that was actually, but yeah. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can watch me fly a plane into a building. Did I say that? Uh, <laughs> you can watch me fly a building, fly a plane into the sea, because I'm a terrible flight, flight pilot. Uh, that'd be funny. Uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Try Try that. Uh, <laughs> Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, which I can't promise you I'll get through that series without putting the cheat engine on. But <laughs> but we'll we'll see if we get on that. This is actually what I use for the cheat engine. For some reason the quality of it is a bit odd. Uh, what's that look like on your end? No idea. I don't know. But yeah, there's a bunch of games in here, and obviously it it already tells me what games are compatible. So if I got to a point in Shadow War where I kept dying, I just hit unlimited health and I was like, fuck it, let me get through this. Um, or if I want to unlock all everything on my character and do unlimited school, skill points, which is fun. Uh, Mountain Blade Warbands to keep myself alive. Yeah. Uh, Subnautica. I've got Battlefield of 2. And I've got Rise of the Witch King as well, which is handy. So when we get our asses kicked, we can fall back on that. Rome Total War, Medieval 2. I, I play Medieval 2 too many years to not, not need that. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> and also, Medieval 2 actually, by the way, when you use this, it actually only works for the base game. There's no, it doesn't work for mods at all. Just to let you know, just to blow the bubble on some people. Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim, I'm not playing that for many years. I don't need to cheat on that. Uh, the Witcher games, Witcher 1, Unlimited Health, Endurance. Yeah, the Witcher games, I'm down to play those. That'd be fun. Um, uh, yeah, Wild Hunt, Assassin's of Kings, all on Steam, and Launch Without Mods, oh yeah, some of the other games we've got, Valheim, yeah, <laughs> that'd be cheating though, Valheim, because it's, it's an online one, but yeah, Valheim, fuck it, we'll do that, I'll cheat, but I'll do it, <laughs> especially with some of the boss battles, I'd like to at some point do like game events where I get loads of people together and we like make a series out of it or something, I'd love to do that, but that just like requires so much people getting people together at the same time to record and it's a bit of a, a bit hectic maybe i think if we were to do something like involving the community it won't be a series it'll just be like a multiplayer thing um obviously i've got the other total war games as a load uh the witch games they'd be fun to play through um if i actually yeah because i might actually do this because if i can do cheats so i remember there was a mission i got stuck on i couldn't get past it so i had to like i had to like pick an ability from like the last from when I, last time I had a skill point or something, I think I had to do it again. It was a bit odd, but yeah. Uh, we'll jump out of that menu. Um, Sniper Elite, we've got the, those games. Got a few more. I think there's another one. There's an, it's Sniper Elite 5. That came out, didn't it? Um, I can't remember. I have some of these on my Xbox or on the PC. I'm not too sure. Um, South Park. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, the South Park games, yeah, that 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 would be entertaining, I suppose. Spec Ops Online. I remember playing the demo version as a kid on my 360. Um, so who knows? Maybe that might be enjoyable to play through. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah, well, yeah. I think that is that the old one or is that the new one? I think it's the old version actually. So yeah, that's always cool to play through. Jedi Fallen Order with mods, definitely. Um, 
Republic Commando, Lego Movie 2, Walking Dead, I've got the... Yeah, The Walking Dead, I could play for all that at some point. That'd be interesting. Um, the Walking Dead, yeah, we could do that. Uh, I don't know if I'm quite in the mood to play some Telltale stuff, but I've never actually played through the whole Walking Dead, whereas the Game Friends Telltale series I've played through before. Um, uh, the Lorene's game. Totally accurate battle simulator, that's alright, but only for really just mucking around, really. Oh, and Sims 4, yeah, that could be fun. <laughs> uh, they got Minecraft, yep, <laughs> naturally. I've also got the Technic Launcher, which has like all the... All the different various mod packs you can use. Um, yeah, obviously newer styles Battlefront 2, I've got loads of mods for that. I've got a BF2 mods folder for all that stuff. I've just put them into categories. Um, obviously CK2, the Middle Earth Shadow, the Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War games. Uh, Epic Games launcher, I think I've got a few. There's different, these are different mod packs. There's so many different mod packs, so Minecraft definitely could be something good to do on the channel. Um... Obviously, Skyrim I want to do at some point, but I just haven't really, unfortunately, had the time. Uh, Among Us, yes! Yeah, we have to play that. <laughs> I've done a few game events before on that, and uh, that's definitely... That might be worth doing. That would be kind of fun. Some funny little videos that I like we can make. Oh, I'm afraid I've never quite... I've played it a lot, as you can see, but I've never properly done a... Um, I've never done, like, a proper... Um, I, I know it's a campaign, I'm afraid, but I've never actually fully played it all. Played a bit, but I, I, the armor free controls were always sort of got me and uh, confused the shit out of me, so I never bothered. Uh, Assassin's Creed games, I got a bunch of those in the Xbox. Um, yeah, just the Xbox and this. AC3 Remasters was Liberation, which is all part of it, on PC. Black Flag on PC, Rogue on PC, Odyssey on PC, which I haven't installed because it requires so many fucking gigabytes. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, Rogue and Black Flag, which I bought recently because I wanted to. I've got, I've played these games to death before. On the 360, but I wanted to get it on PC, so we set it cheap, and also I wanted to get some mods in there as well. I might do the same in Red Dead 2 at some point. Uh, Barrow Trauma, I played that a while ago, a couple of friends. Uh, the Batman and Arkham Telltale series, that might be worth doing. That might be fun, never played through that before. Brain Bread 2, oh, I haven't played that in a while. Counter Strike Global Offensive, probably won't ever play that. Sicko 2, I've already played enough of that. <laughs> CK3, maybe, maybe, we'll say. CK3 is, uh, I haven't quite got used to that yet. I'm not, I'm not massively into CK3, I'm afraid. But I still, I still love my CK2, I'm afraid. It will take me a while till I can be teared away from such a thing. Uh, World Steam Edition, that's something to do with air combat, I think. Uh, Deceit? I cannot remember what the hell that is. Oh, that was like a horror thing. Uh, Dishonored, the first game, I got the second game on the Xbox, but that might be fun to do. Dragon Age 2, yeah, Dragon Age 2, Elder Scrolls Online, did I have the other Dragon Age somewhere else? I'm not too sure. Elder Scrolls Online, I've got that, which is just sitting there. <laughs> Requires so much space, I just can't be bothered. I fight because I must, brilliant. <laughs> Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim, I just play the crap out of that. Got, I even have it on the 360, that's how old, how old I have, that's how long I've had it. Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim that I want to do bring to the channel sh at some point, but I just really haven't. I don't feel as. I don't fancy playing it right in the moment, um, but hopefully I will at some point. Emperor's Zone, that's a, like an alpha of a bit like Kingdom Come Deliverance, but it's, I think it's maybe the same people as Kingdom Come Deliverance. I think. I remember the protagonist of Kingdom Come Deliverance is voicing one of the characters in this. I remember that. E4, if I ever want to play that, and sure. <laughs> Free gigabytes of space, really? That's surprising. <laughs> uh, Far Cry 4, yeah, I've got that on here as well. Gary's Mod, I haven't played that in a very long time, but that's there. Hearts of Iron 4, I'm rubbish at that game, so <laughs> I doubt I'll play that, but yeah. Heroes in General, so I haven't played that in a while. Homeworld, I haven't played that in a while. Kingdom Come Deliverance, yep, yeah, I probably have to play that. I've got that on the Xbox, but I probably. Well, I think I got it on the PC for mods, I'm pretty sure. That was a while ago. Um, Last Man Stang. I've no idea what the hell that is, but okay. Leg of the Hobbit. Yeah, we've done that. Well, at some point, I'll probably go back and do some of the the free play and um, open world objectives and stuff like that. <laughs> Medieval One Total War. <laughs> yeah, I doubt I ever play that. I'm afraid. I whenever I play it, for some reason on OBS, like the I could of course look into fixing it, but I'm pretty sure. But every time I go on OBS. The 
Um, <laughs> the resolution is just fucked for some reason. It just doesn't. It doesn't. Ever, I put it in one resolution. It goes the other. It's just such a hassle. <laughs> uh, Man of War Assault Squad Two. Haven't played that in a while. Uh, should have more to mention that. Man of Blade, Banner Lord, and I haven't played Banner Lord in a while. Jesus, over nearly nearly a year ago. No, no, is a year ago. Wow. <laughs> Uh, Warband. What was the seventh? Wasn't that long ago I played that? But yeah, Warband is definitely something I bring to the channel. Bandlord is pretty good as well, but requires so much space. And also, I'm still waiting for a few more mods to be finalized and finished. Uh, Fire and Sword, that's like the 15th, the was it 16th century one or something. Paladins, I've never, no idea what that is. Probably no will play it. Payday 2, that's a game I remember quite a lot. I used to play quite a fair bit, fair Fair amount of that, um, many years ago. We can jump up, yeah, many years ago. <laughs> play Ink Evolved, I remember that as well. Maybe we'll play that if we want to conquer the world with a virus. <laughs> we call it COVID 19. <laughs> Robocroft, I haven't played that in god knows how long. Yeah, what? So many games I have in there, I just don't play. Uh, Rome Tower War, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, Shell Shock, that's a game, oh, I haven't played that in a long time. I remember that though. Skyrim Scrooge Standard. I don't know how I'm installed for some reason. I think that's because it's for SKS. I'm not too. I'm not too sure. The old Star Wars game. Some of the old ones here. Jedi Knight. We can tell by the graphics. Look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at the graphics. Oh, brilliant. I got Jedi Knight Two Outcast. That's not too bad. <laughs> I can probably play that. This is about. I'm alright. I'm probably good enough to play those games. Uh, but I remember the controls in those games. Always used to suck. Old Republic. Definitely. I played way more than seven minutes, though. I remember I played it years ago. Um, I think I didn't have it on Steam. That's probably why it doesn't show my how long I played it for. But yeah, that's always worth playing. Uh, I've been a while since I played that. Still Ocean. What even is that? Is that like a battleship or something? Subnautica. Nice. Terraria. That's, I haven't played that in a while, but yeah, I remember that quite vividly. Uh, Titanfall. The Titanfall games. That might be worth playing at some point. Um, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Yeah, definitely. And, of course, the Total War games, which I'm sure I'll play at some point, as it's sort of the focus of the channel. As it's CK2, I'm sure I'll play some more of more Total War stuff as time goes on. Trove? No, basically Minecraft. <laughs> Unturned, haven't played that in a while. Valheim mentioned that earlier. Victoria 2, which haven't played that in a while. Um, no idea what that is. No idea what that is. One minute. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Dogs 2, I've got the other one. I've got Watch Dogs, that's another thing. Watch Dogs 2, I've got on PC, and I've got Watch Dogs 1 on the Xbox, and Watch Dogs 3 on the PS5. It's so weird. And there's the other Witcher games as well, like I mentioned earlier. But yeah, there's other games you could suggest me to play. I've got loads in the Xbox and PlayStation as well. And yeah. But yeah, sorry for going on for nearly an hour. We're this off now. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys, I'm sure some of you already clicked off by now. But for those who started, decided to stick around for a bit, then thank you. Um, well, yeah, if you have any suggestions for games you want me to play, please do let me know, and I hope to get around to covering them as soon as I'm able. I can't promise you that I will take every suggestion into account. I will certainly think about it and think, do I want to play it? And if I don't, I won't. But, uh, yeah, you're welcome to suggest any nonetheless. Thank you for watching, and farewell.